Good morning, everyone. Today is another pre-maintenance checklist video, which means we're going over all of the different campaigns which are ending with this coming maintenance. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over is there will not be any maintenance this week. As we can see here, you know, this was last week's maintenance and there's no maintenance this week. And then there will be maintenance on November 6th. However, that does not mean that there are no campaigns going away. One of the more important and more notable campaigns that will be ending is Try It Out Armor Upgrade Campaign. For those who don't know what that campaign is, it's under limited time tasks over here. So you want to go all the way here and scroll to the very bottom. And you're going to see right here that there is Augment Armor, Upgrade Armor, and uh, the upgrading armor part is actually really important. This actually requires you to make an Ecstasis Armor into a Dostasis Armor. This one I highly recommend people to actually do. The reason for this is because of course it gives 1.5 million Meseta as well as the Duo Salia Weapon Camo. The Weapon Camo does look pretty badass. It has a lot of real nice beautiful special effects so I do like the Weapon Camo but of course the most important thing is that 1.5 million Meseta. So please make sure that you actually do upgrade your armor. Even if you're not going to use it you can literally take any Ecstasis armor and upgrade it into a dose stasis armor. Um, I recommend using the event shop armors simply because the event shop armors are fully limit broken already to plus 90. So, uh, you know, you can just uh, upgrade it over to a dose stasis armor. And then later down the line, when you have all the golden prim armors or when you have the enhancement material, you can enhance it all the way to plus 90 later down the line. However, something that I want to bring to everyone's attention is, of course, the NGS headline. The NGS headline is going to be happening on October 29th. So one day before the quote unquote maintenance, even though there's no maintenance. And it's really important to uh, kind of tune into this or just tune into my recap videos if you're really lazy. Um, but the TLDR is there might be an enhancement campaign. I think there will be an enhancement campaign in the next couple of weeks. So please buy out the seasonal shop, especially all those golden prim swords and maybe start stocking up on some golden prim armors or, or not. It's really up to you but i think that there will be an enhancement campaign um that will be announced in the ngs headline of course you guys can just wait for the 29th as i will have a recap video and if there is uh, i'll probably put it as a thumbnail or say it right at the beginning of the video so that you guys are well informed now as for the content of the ngs headline itself we don't really have much to go on. Uh, you know, it, they, they've cut out all of the juicy information from the description already. Unfortunately, it, it, it kind of sucks that they did that. But um, they did say over here that there will be a collaboration. I believe they said it right here, including more information on another upcoming collaboration. So uh, that is interesting. You know, I'm pretty excited for that. Again, I'm still hoping for Bleach, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. Recently, people I've been talking about Nikkei, it'd be really nice if they have a Nikkei collaboration because, uh, you know, Nikkei recently just announced uh, their second anniversary and there's a really good Scarlet skin and I'm going crazy over it. I just don't hope it costs 60 bucks because I, I don't have the money to pay for that. But nevertheless, you know, I am excited to see what is the next collab and what Sega's been cooking. Now, other than that, there are no AC scratches that are going away. So if you did want anything over here, don't worry. Everything is here to stay, including the SG support scratch. This doesn't go away until November. So if you did want any of this stuff, you are safe. You will be able to get whatever you want, or basically you have another week to think about the things. Uh, and then on top of that, there is also the reward box medals and the reward box itself. There are some really nice looking items that I totally missed out. You know, I only talked about this hat before, the cat ear cap B. This does look really good. However, there's also a student style scarf A that also looks very, very fancy. Basically, there's a lot of free cosmetic items over here that look really, really good. So I do recommend people to pick these up. Remember, in order to get the little medals that you need, you are time gated. So if you haven't logged in in a couple of days, it is very important that you do start logging in and start working on this task right here. Enemy suppression, where you actually get two of your reward boxes medals every single day there is no other way to obtain these reward box medals you are literally time gated two medals a day okay 
So please take advantage of this and please, you know, stay on top of things. Because if you do miss out and you don't get all the items over here, you will be at the mercy of the player shop as players can sell most of these items. There are several items here that can be sold, um, but uh, most of them, I want to say like 90% of the items can be sold on the player shop. Okay. All right. With that out of the way, the next thing I want to talk about is the ARCs records. There are two ARCs records this week again. So the first one is Arrow Runner. You can do this with any class but you do have to do it solo keep that in mind in order to participate you have to do it solo you can't be in a party and do it in a group the second one requires you to play Tekker at Wild Avalanche also solo but nevertheless you do want to participate in both of these in order to get your Arc Striker badges and the reason for that is because of course of all of these weapon camos now these weapon camos will not be changing until December 4th however you still want to stock up on these Arc Record badges because you can always get star gems if you have these weapon camos already, or maybe you don't care about the weapon camos, then at the very least, you can pick up star gems, which is pretty valuable. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the Aegis Integral Exchange Shop. As usual, we're going to head over to Aegis Integra. You can change all of your Neo Astron weapons into more Aegis Integras and then purchase all of your Aegis Soul 4s over here and all of the different Dominas so that you can craft your Hal Finales. We're going to go to our Aegis Integras over here and exchange them and wabam. Then the next thing we can do is, of course, we can make our Lux Hal Finales with them. And as you can see over here, we can make one Lux Hal Finale. And there we go. One Lux Hal Finale created. Created, that is 2 million Meseta that we just saved ourselves because we just crafted and did our weekly trade-ins. So please make sure that you actually do this because, uh, you know, if you are looking for some end-game augments, such as the Lux Hal Finale, which gives us a whopping 5% potency, this is a great way to obtain them without breaking the bank because it's literally just a weekly exchange. All right, with that out of the way, the next thing I want to talk about is, of course, the item recycle. So make sure to come to the item recycle and pick up your 50 star gems. This is literally free 50 star gems every single week. So please make sure that you pick that up. And if you still have extra NEX cubes, you can always pick up some extra alpha reactors. So here we get another 50 alpha reactors. We can sell our alpha reactors right here and look at that. That is 175,000 Meseta extra. Now, as usual, if you are running out of NEX cubes, you can always head over here to the uh, other enhancement materials, the second option right here, and you can exchange for more of these uh, NEX cubes for your class EX cubes, all right? So as you can see right there, we just exchanged for 99 NEX cubes. Let's put that in material storage. All right, the next thing that I wanna talk about is of course the Genesis Point Exchange Shop over here, because as you can see over here, the minerals have reset. So please make sure that you do buy all the minerals because these minerals reset every single month. And as you can see, we literally bought every single mineral, 200 of each, and it only costs eight thousand of your genesis points it's very very cheap so make sure that you actually buy them because uh that way you don't need to go out and break any rocks you literally just buy them straight off the shop now other than that there are of course the aegis integras that you can also purchase um as for the capsules over here i wouldn't really purchase any of these because these are stat fours remember nowadays we use stat five instead but something that I would consider buying are going to be the Foundia capsules and maybe even the Master Fragments if you still need them. And last but not least is, of course, the Alliance Point Exchange Shop or the Alliance Badge Exchange Shop. Uh, make sure that you pick up your 30 Star Gems over here. So wabam and wabam. Now, if you still need more Genesis points, they are available here as well as all the different triggers. Now, these triggers are not going for a lot of money, but as I said before, there are some titles tied behind these triggers. So if you are title hunting, for example, uh, because they did add in that new uh, badge thing or new background that you can use if you title hunt or if you complete X amount of titles, uh, this might be a very easy way to get that title because there are a lot of triggers and there's a lot of titles tied behind each one. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.